And you were a big time soccer player. Mm -hmm. At one point, you played the entire MIAA championship. Other than the next day, you ran yeah. championships at Oregon Ridge. So yeah. I know there was a big campaign to get you to run mm -hmm. cross country and track. What, I guess, what changed your mind in order to pick track? Um, I mean, it definitely wasn't a decision I made overnight. Uh, it was kind of a uh, long um, process. I kind of had to think over day in and day out. And basically, what it came down to was I knew I wanted to run in college, and I knew probably I was a better runner. And I was a soccer player, so um, and I was just kind of giving it. Um, I was just kind of giving it like half my time as far as running goes. I was kind of wanted to see what I could do. If I dedicated all my time and uh, energy to running, so just wanted to see what I could do. Is it difficult being, I guess, the best on your team, or is it is it like training alone, or what's it um, like being with the team but being the top guy? Yeah, um, I mean, definitely has its uh, good sides and bad at the same time. I'm, I mean, it's. It's nice to be able to be, I don't know, the fastest and um, stuff like that. But at the same time, I, I mean, I would love to be able to have um, guys who I could, who could actually be in front of me in workouts and um, <clears throat> lead me. Um, but I mean, I make do with what I have, and I mean, I'm happy with it how I am right now. I mean, the guys are great. I still go on training runs with them all the time, and we'll do a workout, and a couple of the guys will do a workout at like 800 pace, and I'll do it at mile pace, and they'll lead me through. So. Um, it's not really a big deal at all. Um, I mean, obviously I'll have plenty of teammates next year at Oregon to push me.